Hello, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. This is another fluid art journal that I've literally just completed tonight for a good friend of mine, Wendy. Um, there are lots of images in here which aren't on the public domain, um, but it's not a book that I have created for commercial purposes. It is purely a gift. Um, it contains all sorts of different um, fabrics, um, some of the paint, uh, some of the canvas from this, the rest of this painting. There are special fabrics that were created by Philomena Harley, who was a, an amazing textile artist in Alice Springs. So there's lots of her different um, workshop sample pieces that are throughout this book. Um, there, the lady who's receiving it wanted it to be a book of inspiration. So there are lots of inspirational quotes throughout the book that she has chosen. And then there are also some images of Peter Pan and Wendy, uh, because her name is Wendy and she obviously loves that story. Um, and there are also some additional quotes that I've put in there. And then there was lots of extra blank space for her to add more and write more in, um, you know, as she chooses and as she feels inspired or she could choose to journal in those areas if she likes. So it is an A5 size book. Um, obviously, the cover is slightly bigger than A5. And um, there are three signatures um, which have been hand sewn or hand bound and as you can see there's a hidden spine there so you can't see the binding um, and yeah so the front cover is one of my original fluid art paintings which has lots of blue and metallic um, elements to that and to create the spine I'll just show you a bit of a close-up there it's uh, pretty much all stitched some of the um, inspirational quotes are actually glued in and then I have gone and and sewing some feature stitching over the top of those. And that's a little silver fairy and moon there. So the actual spine itself is made up of ribbon, so big wide satin or dark blue satin ribbon and some paler thinner light blue ribbon and then I have done a lot of crazy stitching over that to bind that to the cardboard underneath which supports it. And this is the back cover so the painting was cut in half to be able to create, create the cover. So there's some purple and silver elements um, through the back of the book as well. Lots and lots of stitching to be able to hide, or hide um, keep all the different layers together. Um, this is the top of the book showing some of the lace and fabrics and bits of painting that embellish the top. This is showing you the sides. So there's three predominantly three different types of lace uh the blue lace i did actually buy new because i wanted some blue uh the brown lace i bought from philomena harley um as who was a textile artist and this green lace was actually in my mum's um sewing kit and she passed away coming up a year ago so it's really um special to me and i've only used it in a couple of journals and as this is for one of my uh extremely good friends then she had to get a fair whack of it in her journal Okay, so doing a flip through, let's go. So this fabric um, I chose from More Than Vintage on Facebook, which is um, a store based in Adelaide, a Facebook store in Adelaide, who sells a lot of secondhand and also some new items. This was actually a fat, I don't know, it was a fat quarter, but it was a, a piece of fabric um, that I bought from her. And then my friend Wendy said oh I like that fabric can you use it in my journal so here it is it's the full lining and this is the hidden spine section which also creates a nice big pocket front and back of the journal um, these images are from um, a digital kit which I will put the links in the description to they're really really pretty and a lot of the journal cards and things like that in here are from that kit too so a plain coffee dyed page there for Wendy to use this is one of the sayings, act as if everything you do makes a difference. It does. And that's actually is a image on the public domain that I have um, chosen and then put the saying on myself. A um, bit of a fabric um, tab there with some sewing. This is one of the cards from the journal kit. Uh, this is actually from a different kit, actually, this one. But this um, journal card here, which you could cut in half or fold in half, is from... Uh, the September Chic Digital Kit with some fabric, a fabric tab on top on coffee dyed, 
Oh no, backed with some of the paper from that kit actually. Apologies there. This is another saying that says, may your day be filled with happy. This is one of the ones that Wendy chose. Uh, and that is a piece of um, another painting that I did on paper at the same time as this cover. Some crazy zigzag stitching. This is one of the Peter Pan um, book covers that I chose for Wendy. I just really like that illustration. Uh, these two tags. So the tag up here is actually sewn in as a top tuck spot. This is one of the journal cards backed onto coffee dyed card. And this is some fabric which has come from a quilter in Alice Springs. And I've used this sort of eyelash or eyebrow stitching, which I really like. Um, on this side, more of the stitching. Um, this is another piece that I created. This is a rusted gypsy um, background page, which I'll put the link to, another digital kit. Uh, it says, you are amazing. Remember that. And this has got some of this big, wide, sort of coffee-coloured lace sewn onto the side. And I love that the stitching creates a frame on the back of the page. So this could be another point, another area in here for Wendy to journal or to stick photos, or she could choose to stick another um, saying in there. This is another one I created from a an image that is in the public domain, which I've then written, You are so loved and needed in this world, which was another saying that Wendy had chosen. Uh, fits perfectly well with this little fabric tab up here with the purple stitching. And again, another frame that's created from the sewing of that heart. Some more coffee dyed ruffled paper. Um, this is actually a um, quilt top or a section that this lady was creating um, that I bought from her. And I've just used that to sew in here as a pocket. Um, this is another one from the September Chic um, journal this could be used as a side pocket I think she was indicating um, backed onto some of her other paper with a fabric tab some uh, some of the uh, more batik style fabric at the bottom there so there's a lot sewn into this one so it's a bit chunky uh, this is one of the ones that Wendy had chose it's the oomph that turns try into triumph nice bright piece there Another one of the journal cards, which has got a little card here from the September Cheek Collection. Uh, Wendy and I are both avid coffee drinkers. So um, this is uh, a cup of coffee there with a piece of the painting as a tab. Coffee dyed card on the back. This coffee dyed page here has some of my mum's lace with some purple star um, sewing there to hold that down. This is one that I chose for her. It says, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you se uh, seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you'd ever imagined. And this is a piece of um, painting or sort of paper that was used when I was creating the um, cover for this book. Creates a nice frame on the back with the sewing. This is another piece I created from a, this is a, uh, in the public domain, this image. Happiness, the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Um, and in the middle of each signature, I've actually included a little fairy kind of inspired piece. Um, I did actually machine sew the signatures together, but then I have actually hand bound them to the hidden spine piece of fabric there. Um, this is a um, an image from Pixabay, which is um, has a lot of free um, royalty free images there. This is another image that I got off of... Um, was from the public domain with some fabric and feature sewing on card with a bit of fancy cutting down the bottom there. Um, another piece of painting up the top there. This is another saying, this is on one of those rusted gypsy backgrounds. At times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flame within us by Albert Schweitzer. Really like that one. Piece of painting there with some crazy stitching. Uh, two different types of fabric here. Um, and then this is a big wide section, which I think probably has come from a tablecloth or something, I would say, because it's quite wide. These are some of the September Chic pages, which I actually printed in the wrong size. So I decided to sew them into a small book. So, so there is a piece of ledger. This has some faint uh, text and things. This page is just gorgeous. 
Uh, these two are beautiful as well. So imagine those at full A4 size. Gorgeous. Some more there. So these have just been machine stitched together and then sewn into the booklet format. Beautiful page there. So that just um, slots into that pocket there, which Wendy can choose to do whatever she likes with, with those pieces there. This one, uh, the light in me thinks the light in you is freaking awesome. I really like that saying. And that's another piece of painting um, on one of the rusted gypsy backgrounds as well. Bit of feature sewing. Now, this piece of fabric is from Philomena Harley's um, stash that I got from her. Um, I actually bought this at Central Craft here in Alice Springs. So this is her demonstration piece, or some of it, creating um, different textures and things like that with synthetic fabrics. So it's got a real beautiful gold shimmer to it. Really pretty. Some more painting. This, again, is another piece of her synthetic fabric, which she has done different techniques to, to create these patterns and, and folds in the fa fabric. Beautiful um, doily type um, picture there, which I've just sewn in using these um, stitches there. Bit of uh, painting off cut there. Here's another piece of um, painting. This is another of the September Chic. Oh, this is actually one of their envelopes, actually, which is really cute. Which you can, um, I just sewed that one together. More zigzag. This is another Peter Pan quote. It says, When the first baby laughed for the first time, its laugh broke into a thousand pieces and they all went skipping about, and that was the beginning of fairies. And this image here was actually showing the fairy king on the purple emperor butterfly. And that's on one of those rusted gypsy backgrounds with um, some fabric from the cover as that one. This is such a beautiful image. This is um, another piece that is um, on the public domain with this gorgeous lace on the side, which I sewed in as a pocket um, with this um, beautiful image here. Uh, done up as a bit of a bookmark, but you could also journal on the back um, with the coffee dyed paper. This is the Peter Pan image um, that I thought I would include in the book for Wendy. It's just a bit of feature stitching. So these, these are glued in and then I've gone over to do some feature stitching. And that's the back of that um, signature. Signature number two, gorgeous image there. This one says, Do Small Things with Great Love by Mother Teresa. This is a, a gorgeous image which I got from Pixabay as well. So this is um, completely uh, able to use for whatever purpose you like, commercial or whatever. Fabric tab. Um, and this is a piece of coffee dyed card, which I've got a piece of shibori um, fabric there, which has um, been treated by Philomena Harley. So it has those permanent creases in it, which is just gorgeous. This, uh, some butterfly fabric up here. Don't worry about failures, worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. That's another great motivational saying. Some more images here. This is from the September Chic collection, digital, um, sorry, coffee dyed paper. Um, these are some cards. Um, there's one, you know, one or two of each of these in each of the signatures. So I'll put the link for that down below from Etsy. Uh, a thick fabric tab there. This is another Peter Pan image of him sitting outside Wendy's house. Some more of the painting from this canvas. Some nice fabric. This is the stitching on the opposite side, which actually creates a nice little frame for that page. So this is uh, another saying, money can't buy happiness, but it can buy craft supplies, and that's pretty close. <laughs> Wendy and I are both um, mad crafters and mad secondhand shop people. Some gorgeous, gorgeous fabric there. Nice and bright. This is that beautiful blue lace. Uh, I bought that brand new from a shop in Alice Springs called Country Bliss. Uh, some of my coffee dyed paper. Now I just realised I actually sewed this image of a sewing machine in sideways. So sorry about that everybody. Sorry Wendy. <laughs> this is from the September, September Sheet Collection. Onto some coffee dyed card. Now uh, this is some coffee dyed lace. This was also, or I think it's a lace of trim in my mum's sewing kit as well. Some more beautiful fabric from the Quilting Lady. Butterfly fabric, that came from the quilter too. Uh, these are two cards from the September Sheet Collection. 
Um, this is a beautiful image that I got um, from the public domain. This is sort of part of my fairy kind of images and I've topped that with uh, my mum's lace there. And this is the um, charm from this signature. These I got off of um, uh, Etsy as well if anyone wants to know the link for those. You get about 10 I think for a few bucks. This one I loved. Hello, I'm the happiness fairy. I've sprinkled happy dust on you, now shine. Damn it, this shit's expensive. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit crude, I had to put it in. Crazy, crazy stitching. Another piece of painting which I sewed in just as a bit of a feature that she could stick something on top of. Creates a nice frame on the back. A bit more crazy stitching. Some painting trim there and some fabric up the top. Sorry, it's a really dodgy recording because I'm using my holding my phone while I'm doing it. Um, a Peter and Wendy image from probably a book cover of the time. And some fabric and painting pieces up there. Now this is a big wide um, band that I've sewn on here. So it's got fabric and lace. So it creates some um, a big wide band there. And then on the back I have another piece of that quilting section there. Some more zigzag stitching with another piece of that pale fabric. It's a different type of zigzag, that one. quite like it. Uh, some of the fabric from the front cover or from the lining of the cover of this book. And some blue and purple um, stitching throughout this book. And this is the back of the second signature with a bit of crazy stitching to stitch on that tab or that tag, sorry. You can see the crazy stitching on that there. The third and final signature has this gorgeous image. Has this saying, it doesn't matter what's been written in your story so far. It's how you fill up the rest of the pages that counts. So this final signature has probably six sayings in it. So it has a lot of blank pages for Wendy, as it says, to fill up the rest of the pages with whatever she chooses. So there's some um, feature stitching here on this fabric, which forms a tab on the side. So it goes beyond the page. This is another one of those little journal cards, which are really pretty. Again, I'll put the link to that below. Stitching there. Uh, another Peter Pan image that Wendy requested. And some gorgeous sort of batik Balinese-ish fabric. That creates a nice frame for the next image Wendy chooses. Uh, I chose this one, another another um, Peter Pan and Wendy image. Just really appealed to me. It's pale, kind of goes with a nice blue lace. Some more crazy stitching. Another September chic little note card that forms a pocket there, depending on what you choose to sew, how you choose to sew it in, of course. Quilt top. This is some more Philomena Harley um, synthetic fabric which she has treated in different ways I've just stretched it out a little bit to sew it flat into that page some more fabric uh, a fabric tuck spot so this came from the quilter this is another one of those little journal cards on coffee dyed paper and I just stitched um, around this side of the page to create a bit of a frame um, this is the middle of the final signature which has that uh, little fairy piece there. Um, fabric and lace on this tab here and in the middle of difficult lies opportunity by Albert Einstein. That was my choice to put that one in. Some more of this um, beautiful fabric there which has been treated by Philomena Harley. Coffee dyed paper. Um, then we have another tag as a, as a pocket from the September sheet collection there. I hope I'm getting that right. <laughs> Some zigzaggy and fabric at the top. Love my stars. Um, another little um, card as a tuck spot there. Another beautiful Peter Pan image. Uh, the moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do so. Or do it. I really like that one. I like the saying, but I also love the image, which isn't on the public domain. Uh, more of that fabric which forms a little side tuck there. And this is off the side of the canvas when I stripped the um, painting from the stretcher. really like that bit. So I keep all the sides because you often get some really good bits that I can use as tags and 
different tuck spots. Crazy stitching on coffee dyed. And that's the back of the final page of the signature. And the back of the cover, which has the hidden spine with the pocket, which I've created there by sewing it that way. And the back of the journal. Sorry about the wonky, crazy videoing. And once I get the right piece of equipment, I will be able to videotape properly without me having to hold the camera. Anyway, so check the description for links. Um, this is obviously was a custom journal that I made for a friend, so it's, it isn't for sale. But if anyone would like me to make something custom for them, um, please leave um, questions and info in the comments. Thank you.